Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's learn how DevOps engineers can make use of white coding to enhance their productivity multiple times. If you're not sure what exactly is white coding, white coding is an engineering technique where software engineers make use of natural language prompts to interact with large language models or AI agents to implement their tasks. Pipe coding has gained a lot of buzz in the recent times, of course, for obvious reasons, because even junior developers can make use of pipe coding and build applications in a couple of weeks of time. But Abhishek, as DevOps and cloud engineers, you are not expected to build applications. So what is the use of pipe coding? Of course, you are not expected to build applications, but you are expected to write scripts for your organization. For example, I know a lot of companies these days started building infrastructure, not using Python, not using Pulumi, not using Crossplane, but using Python. So you might be asked to set up a Python framework because you have multiple resources on the cloud platform. Instead of writing a single Python script, you might be asked to set up a framework where each Python script within the framework is responsible for creating individual cloud resource. Or maybe you are asked to write a Python script to fetch cloud summary. Which resources is a specific team using on the cloud platform and how much are they responsible for the cloud costs? Even I've seen DevOps engineering teams asked to build Kubernetes custom controllers because they have a very specific requirement for the organization and they don't want to go for open source projects. In traditional approach, because DevOps engineers are not from programming background, they interact with developers, they collaborate with platform engineering teams to implement these tasks. It's not that DevOps engineers were doing this entire thing, but they were collaborating with different teams to implement these tools. But now, DevOps engineers no longer have to do that. With wipe coding, you don't have to write any code. All that you need to know is test if your code is working. So you can make use of AI agent by writing simple prompts in English. You can ask AI agents to build the applications in an iterative approach. What do I mean by that? If you take this task, for example, so you can use AI agent, let's say GitHub Copilot agent mode. And you can ask GitHub Copilot agent mode initially to set up a skeleton for your framework. So just provide it with the requirement. I'm going to create a Python framework. In future, I will use this framework to create multiple resources on the cloud platform. Then you can ask this AI agent to add the Python script for EC2 instance creation, then maybe S3 bucket creation, then add unit test for this framework, add end-to-end -end test for this framework, create a detailed documentation for this framework. And this way, you can work with the AI agent in an iterative approach. What I mean by iterative approach, not a single day, not a couple of days, but you can keep working with this AI agent till your framework is complete. This is exactly how wipe coding is different from using chat GPT or any AI agent. My bad, any AI assistant. Because when you go for AI assistants, which we use in day-to-day -day basis, we ask them to summarize a code or maybe we ask it steps to build a framework or maybe steps to write a Python script or individual Python script. You don't use chat GPT to build an entire application or an entire framework. But in wipe coding, you use AI agents to build the entire tools or framework. In next five minutes, I will show you with example. So we'll take the same example. We will use Visual Studio Code and GitHub Copilot agent mode for wipe coding. You can also give it a try. All that you need is Visual Studio Code. You need a GitHub account so that you can use GitHub Copilot. Within GitHub Copilot, 
you have a assistant mode or ask mode you have agent mode select agent mode and now you can ask github copilot agent so just give it a natural language prompt either in english or in your mother tongue it can be telugu it can be tamil it can be french spanish github copilot agent mode understands it in fact you can go for any other agents as well but you can do it for absolutely free of cost for your personal project using copilot agent mode so i'll tell it i am working on building a framework please ignore any grammatical mistakes i'm working on building a framework to spin up infra on aws cloud using python boot of three i want you to set up initial framework and we will work towards adding scripts for individual cloud resources later okay now let's see if it starts setting up the framework so it says okay i'll do the following things for you to set up initial framework so it created main.py it created a resources folder it created the resource block requirements.txt where boto3 is a requirement yaml is a requirement it has a config.yaml file perfect everything looks great so we have the skeleton of the framework now i'll just ask copilot agent mode let's proceed with creating python script for easy to instance okay let's see if it can add the python script for easy to instance perfect it start created creating easy to dot py and within easy to dot py it created a function okay now i will tell the agent create okay create a python test file to validate if the easy to script is perfect or maybe i can even ask it to add unit test for the same anyways so it started adding unit test test dot test underscore easy to dot py okay so it created it now we can ask it perfect it created an enter class for verifying if the test easy to script is working fine or not then i'll ask it create s3 script so this way we can build an entire framework we can also ask it to generate the entire documentation for you but my goal for today is to show you how you can do wipe coding with ai agents as devops and cloud engineers lot of people think you know wipe coding is not something that they use but trust me just make it a habit whenever you are expected to write a script instead of writing the entire thing using chat gpt or maybe by yourself start doing wipe coding so that in future even if you want to enhance the scripts or enhance the framework it becomes quite easy for you you can also try the other examples the other examples that i explained it can be creating resources or creating a script for verifying the cloud resources what exactly is the cost for those resources or even you can build entire kubernetes custom controller using wipe coding but make sure whenever you are building such framework you test it for example try running ec2.py try running s3.py if you are not sure how to run these scripts you can even ask the ai agent generate documentation for user guide and it generates the entire guide how you can run the python script how you can verify if the resources are created what kind of output that we can expect you can also see that in the readme.yaml file
So this is about the video. I hope you found it insightful. I hope you learned something new today. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone.